Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Whip Wednesday. So excited. I love Whip Wednesday. I love having something new for Whip Wednesday, which I do. Thank you very much. So what I'm finally able to work on again, which also makes me super happy, although I have work to do, and yes, it's October. I'm hoping to have everything ready for tomorrow. Cross your toes is the Tammy Lethbridge sweater. So I have one sleeve almost done. I haven't cut it off yet because I want to just do the other sleeve, which is still a nice big open hole. I want to do the other sleeve just to make sure that that is the length of cuff I want. I know when I was doing my, I'm pointing there, it's not there. <laughs> It's folded up on my shelf. When I was doing my one um, with Batik Chunky, I kept on going back and making my cuffs longer and longer. I thought it was finished and then when I was wearing it, I just thought it would like, you know, I don't know what was happening. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be adding more to the cuff or not. But super happy with the sleeve action so far and love how the yarn is working. Of course. So Oh my gosh, it's really, ta I really tangled myself here. <laughs> okay. So you can't totally see it because obviously it is not done. But that's how far it is so far. So I guess it's getting there, right? <laughs> so the collar, I have a sleeve, a cuff, and a collar left to do. So really happy about that and really like how this yarn is working up, this ambient. It's a lot thinner than the Batik Chunky and I guess it, that kind of changes the drape of it, but I'm really loving it. Maybe that's why my sleeves don't have to be so long, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So this is how I spend my days just seeing that cuff. Hmm? Love it! When I karate chop now, I'd be a little Miss Piggy. <laughs> Uh, and then just joining in the round and doing decreases under. So super easy pattern, you can totally do it. Yes, it is going to be made to measure for your body. There is not a stitch count to follow. It is literally just me like measuring it to your body, start the making the chain that fits your body, making it wide enough to go across your body, and then joining, leaving a big enough hole for your sleeves. You got it. Any size, any length, totally fine. So yes, it'll fit you. I'm not sure about how much yarn I'm, I'm aiming. Oops, I'm totally tangled now. I have 12 balls or four packs, 12 balls. I have three packs of ambient set aside for my project, but obviously I do have more because I think I bought eight packs. I was gonna be making a king size uh, blanket. But now I am making a sweater, so I have tons of the yarn, but I'm aiming for 12 balls, three packs. We'll see how far I get with that. I think it'll be bang on. I think it'll be just right. Might even have some extra, so that is good. Excited about that. It was on pause for a bit because I needed to film it and I was not happy with the lighting of where I had, where I was trying to do my filming. So I've done a bunch of workarounds and pushed a bunch of stuff around and I think I'm happy with my new space for filming. But you'll see in the tutorial there's like, suddenly it's a, like a darker than it was, it's bluer than it was, it kind of changes around which I'm not into. I don't like that. So anyway, I got it sorted out and I'm ready to finish filming it. Yes! So excited! Then while I couldn't film it because I didn't like the lighting at all whipped up this blanket. This is still a whip. I have one more ball to put on the edge and this is going to be the Rick Rack baby blanket. Well it's a lapgan really but it would be a great baby blanket. Really fast, really fun. I love the yarn. Yarn is out of stock. Like all of the yarn is out of stock. So I have emailed uh, Ice Yarns to find out if and when it's coming back or if I should need to find a different yarn to do the tutorial in or what is going on. Because that is a fabulous blanket. And really quick, really quick. Like I did the whole blanket like really quick. It's eight balls of yarn and it's a size five chunky, 100% acrylic. 
dream to work with, and I used a nine a millimeter hook. Nine milli, so fast. So love that one. Oops, now I have to unmangle it and put it back on my chair. So I'm saving one ball so I can film the stitch, like show you how to do it. Once I hear back that they're getting that yarn back. Next, whip. It's totally Whip Wednesday, right? This little number, this little doozy. I do have to frog it again. It's like, you know, when you're, <laughs> when you're designing something, let's just say it doesn't always work out. So I want it to be the same stitch, the rickrack, like a rickrack poncho, although with a non-striping yarn, it's not very rickracky. It's kind of like V-stitch-ish, but kind of rickracky, I don't know. But I'm adding too many shells in the center. See how it's all wobbly down there? That's wobbly. I was doing it at night. <laughs> so I think I did like from the blue all the way out to the red, uh, watching Call the Midwife. Oh, a new season came out, so I'm like busy. And just crocheting, crocheting, crocheting. And then I'm like, what is that? <laughs> that is not flat. So I'm gonna frog it back and figure out a new way of doing the you know, corner, center point. Because I'm adding a new stitch every single, like one extra stitch every single row somehow. But it is really, really great. And the yarn, oh there's no stitch mark right, well I'm frogging it anyway. The yarn, dreamy, literally very comfortable. And how I wanna do it is this way. Right, edge to edge, so you have like your, you know, kind of sleevey action going on. Right? Love it. It's a bit rainbowy. I want to go and look and see what yarn they have in the same yarn. Well, this is Cakes Erin, by the way. It's a four weight cake. So I want to go and see what other yarn combinations they have that's not so rainbow and maybe make, one, make this one for one of my kids. So soft. Like, I'm so impressed with this yarn, it is crazy. It's like squishy and good. I just wish I didn't mess up the corners already. But it doesn't take long. I'm using a eight millimeter hook. So it goes pretty quick. And I think it's like so cute. You see the stitch? I love it. Just double crochets in every other stitch kind of thing. So I guess it's kind of like a V, but no chaining. So it's not really like a V. Anyway, loving it. Have to frog it. So suck a doodle on that. It's kind of brutal, but I don't mind. I'm just going to roll this in, like cake this up on my uh, yarn ball winder and then frog this down all onto one big cake and then start again. So. Still a whip, but not now, because now I can go back to filming the Tammy Lethbridge sweater. I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So working on that, hopefully I'll have it all sorted out for tomorrow, if not sometime this week, by the weekend for sure, we're starting the cal. Because I know everyone's waiting, I know it's a big thing, and apologize for being late. So that is what is up at the urinary. Uh, what's on your hook? I'd love to hear all about it. Thanks for inviting me over. I had a super great time, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. Tell us what's on your hook. There. Oh, thanks, Muck. That's really nice. I like it a lot. Artwork. Aww. That's really cute. Thanks, Mucky. Is it a crab? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can have cookies. Yeah. You want me to get them for you? Okay, well I gotta go dish out some cookies. <laughs>